What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate Tool Reviews and I got a rather complicated tool here from Ink Irma. This is the DM262. Now this is not available on Amazon. It's really only available from their website, which I will link in the description. Um, so if you've seen my channel, you've seen that I've done like laser measures and you know, those are relatively easy to use. You just, you know, point and shoot, tells you where you're going with, with you know, a measurement and you're good to go. This thing, however, though, is complicated but in a good way it's got a ton of different features and things you can measure with it um, it's called a bilateral laser laser measure I've never heard of one of these before um, but basically it's got a laser here and a laser here so you can hold it in a room like this and it'll give you the measurement of that direction and that direction also it's got um, onboard uh, tilt measurement and you can do some pretty wild stuff with it let's check this out all right, before we go any farther, I will say definitely save your manual if you buy one of these. Uh, there is a lot of stuff in here. Now I will say, if you're looking for measurements right off the bat, basically it's pretty simple. You got power on, select your measurement mode. You got a single measurement, real-time measuring, which I'll show that, area measurement, volume measurement, and pelagotherium Pelagotherium method that's also in there. Uh, this is kind of your quick guide here to tell you exactly what you're doing. Uh, I'll get into some of this in just a bit, but if you want to pause it here and check out all of this stuff, it's pretty wild what this thing can actually do. Um, last I checked on the website, I think it's like 80 bucks right now. I think it's on sale. There are other versions, other brands of this on Amazon if you want to check those out as well. Um, but thanks for, to uh, Ink Irma for sending this over to me and for sponsoring this video. It's a pretty cool tool, little tool. All right, so let's check this thing out. Now, it's kind of funny because you generally want to hold this thing like this, because if you hold it like this, which I'm standing right here, you won't do much with this laser. So it's kind of funny that it's kind of oriented like like this when it kind of should be more like this is kind of how I've been holding it this entire time. So what we're going to want to do is of course power it on. All right so now it kind of gives us this screen here. It's going to tell us our battery level. We've got a current angle we're at now which is it just angled from this orientation. That's going to tell me how angled I am. Uh, we've also got uh, what type of measurement we're going to take. It's going to be a front to back measurement right now. So if we go right here with this button that's going to tell me some options of measurements I can do. So what I want to do is I want to just do a basic, you know, front to back or give me like a whole room dimension here. So let's do that. All right. So I'm going to set this up now and I've got a laser on the back of my garage and I've got a laser on the front of my garage. So just clicking this button here will now tell me, hey, I've got uh, 2.485 meters that direction. I've got 3.564 meters that direction for a total of six meters front to back. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's not the only thing you can do with it, of course. So let's say we want to calculate out the entire um, square footage of my garage. All I have to do is go to the square footage mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in this direction. And you want to stay as level as possible of course, this isn't going to be, you know, dead on 99% accurate. It's going to be close enough there. All right, so I am going to be six meters total. And now let's do the other direction. Let's try to get this wall to wall as best I can here. There we go. So I am 6.062 meters by 4.8 meters, giving me a total of 29.52 meters squared, which is going to be the square footage of my garage. But that's not, that's not where it stops. We can also do volume or say like cubic measurements. And if I go down to here, let's give that a shot. So I'm taking three measurements now. I'm going to do the exact same one here, front to back. Now we're going to go side to side. And now we're going to go up and down. There we go. Now I am 69.444 cubic meters. That's pretty cool. That's how fast I was able to take that measurement and it did all the math for me. It's not necessarily very complicated math there. We're just multiplying these three numbers together to give me the cubic meters there. There's also plenty of other options on here when it comes to doing angles. We also have the, uh, Pythag I keep forgetting for messing this up, Pythagorean theorem, theorem. Ah, I can't say it. <laughs> but anyways, it's the, um, 
with the triangles there. Not something I really use ever, and I learned it maybe in high school, but I have not used it since. Um, but it's really cool to see um, all you can do with this tool. Very cool, actually. But I work with speakers a lot of times. So I have to find the center of a room. So I can get very close with a laser measure, but this will allow me to basically I can set this down on something, um, like say maybe a table, and I can get this thing really precise. And this thing takes measurements so quickly, it's so efficient. It's also got a active mode here, where if I go, it's kind of hard to see the screen, right here, it'll not stop taking those measurements for me. So I can make slight adjustments. It'll take that measurement again for me automatically. And every few seconds, it's going to keep adjusting that measurement for me. So included in the box, you're going to get a charging cable. This is going to be USB-C. This thing's actually got a pretty rugged design. There is no batteries, of course. You change out. Instead, it's got a rechargeable battery right here on the side of that USB-C charger. You do have a nice, you know, professional grade case here um, with a belt loop, which is always nice to see. Of course, keep the manual. There is a lot to go over here. A lot that, you know, I've never even used myself or can barely pronounce, <laughs> but there are plenty of stuff to go over. This is really cool for finding basically the um, volume of a room as well as the square footage of a room in just a couple seconds. It's pretty amazing how well this thing actually works. And honestly, it's a pretty cool little tool. So I'll leave a link in the description, guys, if you want to check it out. Uh, thanks again for Inkerma for sending this over to me to check this out. Definitely a really interesting tool, something I've actually never even seen or heard of before, uh, before getting this tool in. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care, have a great day, and stay safe out there.